Google Long Gemini 2.5 Flash, also known as Nano Banana, and this model has exceptional image editing abilities. It opens up tons of possibilities, and in this video, we're gonna look at 10 ideas how you can use this model to build your SaaS application, be it a web-based application or a mobile app. The only requirement is you gotta get started building right away for the early mover advantage. So let's get started. The first example is of restoring Old images. Now here I've got a black and white photo and if you look at it you can definitely see the damaged areas and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna provide it to the Gemini 2.5 flash model also known as the nano banana model to pretty much fix the photo so colorize as well as restore this photo and also just to make sure there are no lines or anything that makes it feel like it's damaged so the response is absolutely amazing. Now the model understands that this image is a few decades old so it made sure that that the coloring is according to that era. So this is really amazing. Now, just a fun thing I wanna ask is, can we change their clothing to make them from 2025? And the model understands that they changes their clothing and make them look as if they're from now. Now we can also ask questions like change their hairstyle, change maybe the background and all, and all of those are possibilities. So again, there are many things that you can do with any of your old photos. Second idea is a virtual try-on. And what that means is basically you can take a person's photo and then provide any sort of a garment or clothing item. So for example, we can start with a simple image and this could be a web application, mobile app, where you can ask users for their photo. And using that photo, now you can swap it out with different things. So here I asked Gemini to swap the shirt to a green shirt. And as you can see, it kept all of the details as is and it just swapped it out with the green shirt. And if you were to look at the physique, it also preserved that. So that's very nice. Now, other thing is I provided image of a t-shirt and then I asked for it to make that person wear it. And look at that, you have the same person and everything else is preserved. And it's just that now this person is wearing the garment that we provided. So any sort of virtual try on idea is now possible. You don't have to train a stable diffusion model or so. You just provide that to Gemini, takes about 10 seconds and you have the new image available. Third idea is AR annotator. And what that means is you can provide an image and ask for Gemini to annotate the image with some relevant information. This could be a place of interest, an object of interest, or something that you want to highlight in any given image. So for this use case, I provided image of Seattle downtown and I wanted Gemini to annotate the space needle out of all of the other buildings in the downtown. And if we look at the result, there we have the annotated version, which is quite nice, and also gave some information about the building. So one probably might need to verify the information here, but then overall the concept works. This could be applied to objects, historical places, historical buildings, or anything that you'd like to provide to your users. The fourth use case is a cool one. And this was posted by a few users on Twitter saying that one could provide an image of any map. So I took a screenshot of Vancouver downtown and I asked Gemini to show what can be seen from the arrow. So it needs to understand first, where is this map from? And then second is to understand the direction of arrow and how that looks like. And it did a pretty good job. So it gave an explanation. It is from downtown. It was able to generate the image from that direction, which is quite nice. But then the background, it confused with the other side. But just to understand how the view is going to be, where the map is from, and also the angle that we pointed out. That is quite amazing. Number five is professional headshots. And this use case was quite popular for a few years and it was using the Dream Booth training. And in that case, one had to train a model with multiple images, usually between five to 10 images. Using that model, one could generate images. But now with Gemini, all of that is gone. You just provide one image and you have the results. And what I did is I took a screenshot 
of me right now and I asked Gemini to generate a professional headshot and there we go. It did quite a nice job. It understood the task. It swapped my t-shirts with professional clothes. It changed the background to something that looks professional and overall very nice work. So of course you can extend this to an application where users can provide any image and you turn that into a professional headshot. At number six is YouTube thumbnails and this is a task many YouTubers do manually using Canva or other tools and it takes quite some time and now with Gemini I can provide an image and ask Gemini to generate the thumbnail for me and in a previous video I showed exactly how you can do that and just for example here I have two different images I asked Gemini to add some text make it look like techie and also in one case to preserve my expressions and in the other one to change the expression so you can see in this particular case the expressions were changed to make it more surprising but you notice that overall it was able to add some nice graphic design, some nice text and colors. So definitely looks quite nice. And this could be again a simple SaaS service where you take image and generate one thumbnail or multiple thumbnail variations. Or you can make it part of another application as a bundle where YouTube thumbnails is now going to be an add-on. Number seven is coloring sketches. So you can take any image and ask Gemini to generate a coloring sketch for this. Now this is a one use case especially for kids so you can provide an image like in this example I provided Eiffel Tower and as Gemini to make a coloring sketch for it and there we go now we have the outline we can pretty much fill in with colors to make it look like how the original was and again this could be for real world images or it could be some sort of 3d art or 3d characters anything that you would like to convert to an outline at number eight is 3d and isometric diagrams from any image now for for this example, I provided the same image that we used in the previous example and asked for it to generate an image of this tower and use white background and three-fourth view and this exact prompt was shared on Twitter and in this case the prompt is to generate the tower seen in this image and use certain background and some scaling and the main thing is to keep it 100% identical to the original tower here. So that's exactly what it did. It took everything out and then it showed us the 3 3D version. At number nine is retouching any image and this could mean that you can change color of objects, you can change the background, anything that you'd use expensive tools like Photoshop to do. And in this case I provided an example image of a house by the lake or river and then I asked Gemini to swap the color. So I, instead of the original color I wanted to have pink color with pink lights and there we have it. It swapped the colors out and and the cool thing is it understands the physics as well. So instead of the original reflection, now it changed to pink colored reflection in the water. So this is amazing. And at number 10 is educational content. And this could be huge. And just to give you an idea, I posted something on Twitter where basically we can take any image. So in this case, I provided image of a butterfly. Now this could be any animal, insect, or even fruits and vegetables. And if you're curious, how their different stages in life are you can pretty much ask Gemini to do it and as you see here it was able to make an image with four different stages for butterfly including the text of what each of these stages are and also the actual image of how they look like so this is absolutely amazing and the prompt for this is to generate an image combining all life stages of butterfly and include the name so basically it provided the image as well as the names. There you have it, folks. 10 SaaS ideas that you can implement today and start getting users for your product. And all of those use simple Gemini API call. Let me know in comments if you'd like for me to walk you through building one of these SaaS products using the Gemini API.